What's up guys? We're back at her. Vaporology hitting her hard. Everything vapor coming at you. We are looking at the Dovepo GX200 today. This is from fasttech.com. I've got my new Goblin RTA up on top there. Beautiful RTA. I gotta say it's a, it's an orchid killer. <laughs> I love my orchids too. I got three of them. So let's get into why we're here. The Dovepo. So, straight off the bat, we'll just give you a little one surround. It's all black aluminum. Magnetic door on this side, which actually has the magnets pressed right into the door. So they'll never pull loose. You got the single fire button. You got that screen there. One beveled edge on this side, which they should have matched it up. But because of the door, I can see why they didn't. I guess that's something you could do yourself if you uh, were so inclined. And that's pretty much it. You got a USB port on the bottom. It does charge the batteries inside. It will work with one or two 18650 batteries. It's essentially a mechanical box mod with a little bit of protection. So it will help, you know, if you stick your batteries in backwards, it's going to save your butt. If you are pulling continually over 30 amps, it will kick the breaker out on it so you don't hurt your batteries. That sort of thing. It's rated for 20 amps, but it's got a 30 amp breaker in it. It will also monitor temperatures inside Basically, it's going to be monitoring the battery temperature because that's what's touching the sensors, essentially. And if the batteries hit over 70 degrees, uh, it will shut off to protect them, which is a great feature. If you're pulling too low, you got a short somewhere you don't know about, uh, that can save your batteries for you. So, let's get into it. I'll take the goblin off and we'll show you the 510 connector on the top here. It's pretty straightforward. The one thing I should have showed you first here, this might bug you. I don't know. See that little gap on the bottom there? I don't know, if you got OCD, that might drive you a little bit bonkers. But I like it because it'll, it limits the air or the uh, heat exchange between the atomizer and the actual box itself. The whole new thing the guys are using are little Delrin insulators down here uh, to help insulate between the two. Because, you know, basically the atomizer are overheating the boxes. So it's not a bad design, but if it bugs you a lot, you might want to uh, look at something a little different. So, let's get the 510 in your face here not too dirty pretty standard it is adjustable has that uh, Phillips screw there gold plated it looks like maybe brass but it looks gold plated to me and you can move it up and down it just seems like a little bit of a shallow 510 but you never know. I might be able to adjust it down a bit I just haven't even tried to be honest with you you got the single fire button on the front and let's open her up so I just got one Jeez throw things around here. I just got the one battery in here right now, but like I said, it works on one or two. And when you open it up, the one thing you'll notice, there's no screws anywhere to take it apart. I'm fairly certain they're going to be underneath these magnets. They're not down under these this tape. There's nowhere in there. So I looked around. I might do a second video, uh, but you can see there's a little board up here that the batteries are going to contact. That's what's uh, going to be saving your butt, help protect you. But if... Uh, you're interested, post it, or keep your eye out for a second video. I might do an internal because this box is kind of perfect for a DIY kind of build, right? It'd be perfect for that. Got a little bit of room for your MOSFETs, and there's probably one already in there. You could just modify it if you wanted uh, to suit your needs. So, the one thing, uh, the, the button, the switch here, you can see the screen's a little scratched. That's because there's a sticker on there. I haven't peeled it off yet. But the, you hear that? That's the button. So, I don't know. But for 30 bucks, you can't really go wrong. So the one thing, you put your batteries in, and it comes on. No, it's on. There's no turning it off. You can't click the button five times. Nothing like that. So that's kind of, eh, I wish I had a way to lock it in your pocket. <laughs> lock it in your pocket. So here's the back of the door. You can see those magnets pressed straight in to the cover. And probably my favorite feature of this whole deal is the fact that while you're vaping, you can monitor your active voltage drop. So for me, I never push my batteries below 3 volts per cell, and that's just a rule of thumb to help them last longer and perform better. So when you've seen that first one there at 3.98, so now I fire that, okay, I'm thinking 4.2 is charged. Well, i got a pretty big build on here. I'm running uh, triple twisted flat wire. It's this new uh, huge stuff. It's actually four pieces of wire all twisted together. 
and it's absolutely great for flavors. Oh man, dude. Oh, I bought it with the goblin and I'm glad I did. Anyway, so when I fire it, I got a pretty good voltage drop. 3.44, so I got a point, you know, it's almost a point for, uh, yeah. So at least you can help you see that. So when I get down to three volts with that drop, I know it's time to put a set, fresh set of batteries in or plug it in. This thing does not work as a pass-through which kind of sucks. You can't use it as a pass-through, but you can always just swap in a new battery. And I like the fact that it runs on one or two. So instead of, you can just have one in there, keep the other one in your bag or something. And then when it dies, you know you still got another one. So I get a full day out of it, no problem. Uh, but I like it. It gives good, you know, it, it's... <laughs> Feels nice in your hand, it's light, solid aluminum. It's nice, it's really nice. For the price point, I don't think you can go wrong. I did uh, put a build on it when I first got it. Uh, it was a 0.17 build and it fired it. It says it's rated to 0.2, but it fired a 0.17. So it will go a little bit below. So let's see what it all comes with. Bring the camera down here a bit and I'll show you the box and everything. Okay, so there's a little bit of info on the back there. If you want to pause it here and read, you can go right ahead and do that. It does um, does not buck or does not have a buck booster in it. It will not um, bump up your voltage to keep a steady 4.2 like most regulated mods will do. As your battery dies, your active vaping voltage will diminish accordingly. So keep that in mind. So in the box, pretty straightforward. It's actually pretty well presented. I do like. Uh, break everything so it does come with a little manual I'll run you through that real quick gives you the codes if something happens or over 15 seconds it'll flash f1 low voltage lower than 3.2 display will flash And that's basically it. it does come with its own USB cable which is nice to see you know I bought this uh, Spire this guy here this sub ohm battery it doesn't even come with a charger stupid thing and you get a the almighty blue screwdriver and a spare 510 contact and a little certificate <laughs> oh jeez you can't stop breaking things today. So that's it, guys. That's pretty much the whole deal. I actually like it, to be honest. Uh, I'm pretty happy with it. Like I said, the only thing I would improve is a way to actually turn it off. And that button. And pass through vaping. You know what? I'm going to try it right now. Okay, so I did try it. I plugged it in. You hit the button when it's charging and it just flashes. Won't let you do anything. So pass through is not an option. So there you have it, guys. That is the Dovepo GX200 for the price point. I think you're laughing. It looks, it looks boss to me. I like it. I'm a big fan. So we got lots more to come, guys. If you're interested, uh, stay tuned. We've got the Goblin. I'm going to do the breakdown of this here next. I got the iStick. I got these other boxes from Fast Tech I'm going to be reviewing. These are the improved Beast 2 versions. Got the Aspire, CF sub ohm batteries, all kinds of stuff coming your way. So stay tuned, guys. Anything you want to see, let me know. Keep calm and vape on.